Welcome and welcome back. We are here with a uh, trailer review, a trailer review for Coming to America. We have new videos here on the channel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so hit that subscribe button if that's something you might look forward to, and just know that if you hit the like button, it really helps me out here on the channel. Now, I am excited for this movie. I am ex extremely excited for what this movie means. This movie is a return not just to a former favorite film, uh, not just to not just a return to the great Eddie Murphy, uh, but this is a return to a previous era of movie and a previous era of comedy. Uh, this is no stoner comedy. This is not Family Guy. There will be no Seth Rogen. There will be setup. There will be delivery, and there will be punchlines based on an actual script. The um, absolute horror show that I think has become of the comedy genre, um, the stoner film, the look, I'm not against any of it, but I think what happened is a couple of them, uh, Pineapple Express, whatever you want to say, wherever you want to say that train started to derail, happened. Uh, and it became evident that, hey, we don't really need a script. Scripts are hard to write. Hey, we don't really need talent. Talent is hard to accrue. Hey, we don't really need, I don't know, a budget because budgets are money. We just need a camera and a few days and we'll go. Uh, that is the, the state of a lot of comedy that has been, in my opinion, maybe I'm just a stodgy old man. I can understand that. I can go with that. I can accept it. This is a return to a different type of comedy. Like I said, there will be setup, there will be delivery, there will be actual punchlines. Um, this is actual movie making. These are actual characters. A lot of what has um, absolutely befuddled me about the, um, for example, hey, I'm going to use a Leslie Jones film here. The Ghostbusters movie that uh, Leslie Jones was in, look, I don't care about the gender swap. I don't care about it, your politics, no matter who you are, where you're from, what you're talking about. I don't care about any of it. The scenes on film for that movie are so disjointed and so terrible and so loosely acquainted to what the actual movie is about that there is no excuse for someone having said, yeah, yeah, that's the final one. We're going to put that on. We're going to, we're going to publish that. We're going to go with it. Uh, I can't believe a lot of that stuff passed. I can't believe that a lot of that was the best take. This type of movie making is not that. Um, so talking about the movie itself, there's not a whole lot of detail, but we have a general outline, like a good trailer gives us. This is about... A Fish Out of Water, it's about the daughter who would be king, uh, it's about finding family, it's going to be about uh, the definition of self, I think we're going to get into a little bit of that, and those are all things that make for really good comedic features. Um, the daughter who would be king, uh, this is going to be a way for this film to make a different critique on American society than did the first film, uh, the first film being what it was as a critique of society, as most great films are, look, you would not have this movie 30 years later if the first one were not great. Um, finding a way to make a different critique on the same, uh, perhaps, circumstances in society uh, by highlighting what it means to be an American versus from a different culture. Um, along those same lines, you have in this movie, Coming to America, the first movie, but in reverse. Uh, you have, you are taking a young black man from America to another country, as opposed to bringing him to America. Uh, and you are, instead of removing that power, the assumption of power, you are assuming power. Um, and you are giving us a fish out of water critique from that perspective. Um, so I think that when we look at what is going on in this trailer, they give us just enough for us to want more, which is, you know, the best way to make a trailer. But they also give us little character bits about the daughter, 
about uh, the character played by Jermaine Fowler. I didn't happen to catch a name. Um, you have the Wesley Snipes character who is going to be power hungry, and I think we're going to get Hey, who doesn't love Wesley Snipes, right? Who couldn't use a little bit more Wesley Snipes in their life at this point? Uh, if 2020 taught us anything, uh, maybe it should be that the world is not the same when we're not getting Wesley Snipes films all the time. So maybe this will be the great turnaround, getting Wesley Snipes back on screen. It'll really help things uh, turn around in the world. Unfortunately, what we have here is we have Leslie Jones um, on film again. That is going to be the great, uh, I think, downside to what is going on. So I, I can't wait for this movie. I think that it's going to be, hopefully, what happens is that this is so great and so inspiring. And I'm not, look, I'm not saying that great comedies aren't still made. Um, I think that they are fewer and further between and they do not get the accolades. They do not get the um, press that the stoner films and stoner comedy and just general, I'm going to turn the camera on and you improv whatever you think is good. I think that that is a lot of what gets promoted, gets a lot of backing from big money. Um, hopefully, this is a change. Wesley Snipes, that's all I got to say, right?